Hi, my name is Stephanie Cohane, and I am the supervisor of the Clean and Affordable Energy Unit at the Connecticut Public Utilities Regulatory Authority, or PURA. I'm going to give a brief overview of an exciting new program PURA established to support the expansion of electric vehicle charging in Connecticut. The EV Charging Program is a statewide program that provides incentives for electric vehicle supply equipment, or EVSC, and accompanying rate design offerings for program participants. This nine-year program is launching on January 1st, 2022, and will be administered by the regulated electric distribution companies, Eversource Energy and the United Illuminating Company, or UI. The EV charging program offers incentives to support EV charging across five market segments listed on the slide. It's residential single family level two chargers, residential multi-unit dwelling also for level two networked chargers, there's a program segment for direct current fast chargers or DCFCs, as well as workplace and light duty fleets for level two chargers. And finally, public destination level two chargers. Notably, this program is focused on light duty vehicle electrification. One of the primary objectives of the EV charging program is to enable Connecticut's commitment to the 10 state zero emission vehicle Memorandum of Understanding, or ZEV MOU, to deploy 100, between 125,000 and 150,000 EVs across the state by 2025. In addition, the analysis from the Governor's Council on Climate Change indicated that in order to meet the state's greenhouse gas reduction targets, 500,000 light duty EVs will need to be deployed in the state by 2030. As a result, the EV charging program establishes EVSE deployment targets for each program segment that are based on three-year program cycles, as you can see here on the slide, with built-in opportunities for program review. Residential customers seeking to install networked level two chargers in single family residents will be eligible to receive up to $500 rebate to install a networked level two charger and up to $500 rebate for any electrical wiring upgrades that may be needed to enable EVSC installation. Program participants receiving an incentive will also be required to enroll in a managed charging component. In 2022, the utilities are implementing a demand response program that aims to encourage participants to shift their EV charging patterns to off-peak times during the four-month summer period. Participants who opt out of no more than two events per month will receive $50 per month, up to $200 per year as an off-bill payment. There's also a one-time enrollment incentives that are available for customers to participate in managed charging who do not otherwise need to participate, or excuse me, purchase a networked level two charger. For all other program segments, the program adopts a make ready model, which means that the utilities will invest in the infrastructure required to enable charging from the distribution system up to the EVSC with maximum incentives capped per site, which you can see here listed on the slide. Additional incentives will be available for sites hosting EVSC and underserved communities. Incentives will be available for participating site hosts. A site host must either own the land, have a lease of at least five or more years, or obtain written consult consent from a landowner to install EVSC. Site hosts must also commit to operate and maintain the installed EVSC for a minimum of five years. Utilities will also be able to access program participants' charger usage data. On the rate design piece, in the near term, Eversource and UI will offer tariffs specifically for separately metered EV charging stations in an effort to mitigate the impact of demand charges, particularly for DCFCs that currently have low utilization rates. The utilities are also di directed to develop a longer term solution that scales volumetric charges down and demand charges up as charging station utilization increases. This will be a proposal before Pura in 2022. For now, ask your utility about their current EV rate rider offerings. Residential customers currently have the option to participate in a whole house time of use rate. P 
Shapira will also be examining the potential for an EV only time of use rate offering in a future program review. To learn more about the program offerings and how to participate, visit the Eversource and UI Connecticut EV Charging Program websites, which will be launched and available soon. For any questions, please reach out to the utility program administrators at the contact information listed on the screen. For other questions, you may contact Pira's Consumer Affairs team listed also on the screen. Thank you.